What's up guys welcome back to the LD world it's your boy Lance back with another video I think you guys will really really enjoy this one today we're gonna talk about how to overcome or how to survive stereotypes when being in an interracial relationship a lot of us are in an interracial relationship that are subscribed to this channel so I want to give you guys a couple of tips and things that'll help you guys out but before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button Join the family, turn on that noti bell because we got videos coming for you every other day. Something like that. Um, let's get right to it. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna talk about how to overcome stereotypes in an interracial relationship. Um, I think this is a very important topic to talk about. Interracial relationships face a lot of problems. Problems coming from the outside society and problems coming from your family and problems coming from you and your partner. This main topic is about interracial relationships, but feel free to apply this to any kind of relationship because I think it's useful all around. In an interracial relationship, you face not just challenges, but extra challenges. Some of the stereotypes that we have gotten is, like for Dua, for example, she gets something like, oh, you only like black guys which isn't true or for me it's I only like white girls or it's something like whenever you walk into a restaurant you get stares you get insults you also feel a certain sense of isolation if your family doesn't agree with your relationship or if your friends don't agree with your relationship you feel a sense of isolation you feel like you and your partner are alone and really battling against the world. Dua and I haven't necessarily experienced this, but there's a lot of people out there who are in interracial relationships and they are not accepted by their family or by their peers. So how do they how do they make it through that? Those are the extra challenges that you face when you're in an interracial relationship that you may not face in a relationship where your partner is the same race or ethnicity. Let's kind of dive into a couple of things that we can do to make it a little bit easier for you and your partner. All right, so number one on our list, you want to, this is something that you need to practice on a daily basis. You want to know, and not just know, you want to respect your partner's cultural difference. Get to know the cultural background of your partner. Whether it's something you necessarily agree with or disagree, I don't think you can disagree with it because it's something that you're not familiar with practice empathy practice just sitting there and listening to your partner practice trying to understand if you don't understand just be a listening ear for your partner because you need to be that outlet that your partner needs they're they're facing things like racism negative stereotypes that go on on a daily basis those are things that i've experienced in my relationship with dua not not coming from dua but just from the outside world but when i experience those things i want to let it out and i want to talk about it but sometimes i feel like oh I don't know if I can talk about it because maybe she won't understand. But instead of me not understanding, I should be able to communicate that to her and she should be able to just listen, try to understand and just be a shoulder for me to lean on. And this goes on both sides of the spectrum. You want to be empathetic. You want to be a listening ear. Sit back and absorb what your partner is telling you because you may not be personally going through it, but your partner is and they need somebody to support them. It's important that your partner knows that you are with them, that you are standing with them 110% through thick and thin. It's like the old saying goes, and I hope I'm saying this correctly, a house divided will fall. If you are divided, you're going to fall. So stick with your partner, stand by your partner and help them and be a listening ear for them when they need it. All right, number two, this is very helpful. This isn't just for interracial relationships, any kind of relationship, interracial relationship, long distance relationship, short distance relationship. This goes all across the board. And if you follow this key here, I promise it's going to help your relationship 110%. Do not, I repeat, do not have any expectations. I said it, there you go. Do not have any expectations for your partner. Do not think that, 
oh, I expect my partner to be this way or to act this way. No expectations. When you go into your relationship with no expectations, you have a higher success rate. Society has created this false image of what love actually is. So a lot of people try to chase that false image. That's why a lot of people are still single because they think that there's that one perfect person out there and I expect everybody to meet this standard. And if you don't meet this standard, forget you, no. You're gonna be single for the rest of your life if you do that. If you're doing that in your relationship, the relationship probably has a lot of arguments or it's probably not going to last very long. So make sure you go into your relationship without any expectations. Create your own version of love within your relationship. Create your own relationship. Don't follow what you see on two TV, I almost said 2V. Don't follow what you see on TV. Don't look at rom-coms. All that stuff is a bunch of crap. This is the real world we are living in reality. Create your own love. Don't have any expectations for your partner. The next one, Dua and I haven't had the opportunity yet to experience this, but it's something that we have definitely talked about because it's very important for being in an interracial relationship. And it's, you have to talk about what you want your family to be and how you want to raise your kids. That is important. The reason why is because you come from two different backgrounds. Let me give you guys an example. I live in the United States. I came from, um, I live in the South, Georgia. Dua, his white female, lives in Iceland. We have to bring those two completely different cultures and mash them together. So, how are we gonna raise our kids? You guys tell me, how are we gonna raise our kids? That's what we have to talk about. So whether you guys are from the same country or not, if you're in an interracial relationship, you have different cultural backgrounds. You have to talk about how you want to raise your kids. Not just to mix each other's cultures, but we live in a world, unfortunately, we live in a world where racism does exist and your kid is probably going to grow up someday and wonders, wonder why somebody's going to, some idiot is going to tell them in school or something like that, oh, you're mixed, you're not, you're, you're, um, some kind of racial term and your kid's gonna come home to you and be like mom dad what am i why am i this you didn't raise them to look at color or anything like that but there's people out there who are like that so you have to talk about it with your partner early possibly before you have kids on how you're gonna handle those situations because they're gonna come up and you guys have to be on the same front whenever you do handle those situations so make sure you have a plan in place for how you're gonna raise your kids and how you're going to create a family together if you decide to take your relationship to that next step. So then that way you're not just gonna be dumbfounded whenever everything just starts and you're like, well, I, once again, expected to be this or expected to be that. No, talk about it early and create a plan together. So number three and number four kind of blend in together. Um, like how we were talking about with how you want to raise your kids, we're also going to talk about, or how you're going to raise your kids with different cultural backgrounds, we're also going to talk about traditions. We have gone into a ton of conversations about traditions. Let's use Christmas, for example. I spend Christmas with my family, we decorate, we do this, we do that. Dua's family may not do it to the same extent that I do it. or for New Year's Eve, we like to either go to church or sit at home where her family likes to pop fireworks and have a New Year's Eve party and so on and so forth. So we have two, once again, two different backgrounds, two different traditions, and we have to figure out how to blend those traditions together, which I think is super, super fun to figure out how to mix traditions together let's let's be like okay maybe we can do the first half of the day like this or the second half or maybe we can visit your family this year and next year we visit mine something like that but figuring out traditions is very important because you don't want to exclude your partner's traditions and you also don't want to forget yours so make sure you find a blend or something that you can do to mix you guys together and to create your own brand new tradition for your relationship. All right, number five, last but definitely not least. Being in an interracial relationship takes a lot 
of strength. So you have to. You have to believe in yourself and in your relationship. You can't just go into an interracial relationship thinking it's all gonna be it's gonna be cakes and rainbows. It's not. I'm gonna let you guys know that now. It's not going to be easy. People are going to judge you. People are going to disagree with you. Your own family members may do the same exact thing. So you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in the love you created with your partner. You have to believe in yourself and have strength within yourself to move forward, to move past the negativity that the outside world is portraying on your relationship. So if you get anything out of anything that I said in this video today, make sure you believe in yourself and believe in your relationship because once you do that, you can overcome all of the negative stereotypes that are being forced or casted upon your relationship. So that's major key, folks. So let's go ahead and take number one and bump that all the way up to the top because that is what I want you guys to get the most out of this video. All right, so those are about five different things that I wanted to share with you guys that can help you overcome some of the negative stereotypes that are casted upon your relationship. These things are things that Dua and I have been practicing and are still practicing to this day. So it's not, it's not like a, once I know this, it's gonna fix all of my problems type of list, but you have to implement it on a daily basis. Sometimes you'll forget, and that's what your partner is there for, to remind you. So you guys have to work as a team, work together to overcome the outside world because I guarantee you, even though the world is progressing, it is getting better, especially with interracial relationships. It's, it's continuing to happen more and more often, but even, even with that, the world is against you, but you can overcome that with your love and more and more people are sharing their experiences are sharing their partner are are reaching into different nationalities different ethnicities to find their partner which we obviously ag agree with it but we are absolutely amazed by it and we appreciate it because the more and more people out there that can step outside of their comfort zone to find love those are the people that are changing the world so continue to change the world people you guys are doing amazing let your voice be heard let your relationship be seen like i said before be the change that you want to see in this world if you guys like the video go ahead and give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have video coming we have videos i can never close out a video or do an introduction if you guys like the video make sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe yeah, stop. What is Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell because we have videos coming for you guys every other day. Forgive me for messing that up. I'll try to do better next time, but until then, 